All right, so today we've been given a challenge by Chase here. We are going to build our favorite Air Mac Arms gun. Doesn't matter what it is, there is no limits right now. Ah, that was the coolest thing ever. We're gonna decide who can build the coolest Air Max Arms gun in 20 minutes. There is no limits, there's no boundaries, and you, the people, get to judge who built the coolest one. Are you guys ready? You guys ready? We all know who's gonna win. Two thumbs, looks like this guy. But uh, yeah. let's go now. Dream Air Max loadout. Um, I'm gonna build a killing rig today, so. All right, first thing we gotta grab. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I am rushing, I'm on the clock. I'm about to build the coolest Air Max today. Um, gonna kind of pick out my favorites off the Air Max wall. Lots of different options. Um, Katran's obviously a good choice for like a lower power pellet shooter, but it's a little bit long. I like something that fits in the truck a little bit better. I think I'll stick with like the mid-range crate. We got this one, the crate, compact. I have just a thing, but you know why? I get a little head start, because this was sent to me just like this, other than the moderator. Here we go, let's go. I'm gonna build off of this. This thing's sick. I'm gonna steal the arc rail off this one, actually. I'm gonna need both of those. You know how big this store is? Here we are at the Air Max stuff. Okay, so for moderator, I mean, there's tons of options. The new Donnie stuff's phenomenal. Uh, Hug it's really quiet. For this, I'm gonna go with the impulse. I like the adjustability of the baffles. Pretty sweet overall moderator. Let's do the old Arca. Just kidding, I can't open that up. That's probably not for a crate. We don't even need it anyway. We're gonna do a lightweight hunting setup. And then for a scope, I don't want something super high power. So initially I was thinking something like a Razor LHT. It's got a pretty low base magnification. It's super light, but I think I'm gonna go with something a little more affordable and go with a Strike Eagle 3 to 18, pretty similar in size. Um, it's actually got locking turrets, just like the um, LHT does, but the base magnification is a little bit lower, so it'll be a little bit better for shooting close range stuff, so. Which one? Which one are we going for? We got the iRay Alpha thermal scope, and we got a tripod. Okay, Chase, we need the perfect optic for that thing. A little pro tip for y'all right now while you're mounting the scope. If you're leveling the gun, make sure your level is perfectly parallel with one of your pick mounts. That way you know it's perfectly square on the gun because if it's not, it can make your level off. So, there we go. Okay, so we want it just a little bit ahead of the cheek crest, just for starters. So I'm gonna go with this Ergo grip. I actually prefer it a little bit more over like the stock Air Max grips. Like I said, I like the Ergo grip. If you look at these, these two grips compared to each other, this Ergo grip's just a little bit fatter. It's got a palm swell on it. And I just, for my big hands, I prefer it just a little bit more than the standard Air Max grip. Mm-hmm. It's a little bit loose. All right, I think we got it this time. Okay. Perfect. All right, so we got that mounted on there. And I'm just gonna thread on that impulse moderator, like so. Now that we got that done, let's run and go grab some pellets and some magazines, okay? Okay, let's go in the old tripod. Who let the dogs out, dude? And what's this guy doing here? All right, these guys are going down. That was probably a record time gun setup. And that's that, crate compact night hunting setup. Where did my moderator go? Hey, no joke, fellas, where'd you go? Not seeing it, not seeing it. Think Dylan knows he's going down? Someone playing games with me or what? Um, Austin, where are our Air Max magazines? Are they back over here? 
No, I'm being serious. Where is it? Hey, who took my freaking moderator? So I'm gonna go with three magazines. And the reason is I like to have lots of loaded magazines before I go out to shoot. Who's got my moderator? I'm not joking anymore. Probably need to grab some JTS pellets. Dude, I'm telling you, I swear they're messing with me. I know. <laughs> Busted! <laughs> Suckers. I'm just gonna grab a sleeve of these just cause. Can't have too many pellets. Um, if we're gonna go for just like a pretty solid bipod, I really like the AccuTac stuff. I'll go for this AccuTac bipod, throw this on here and throw that quick clamp on there. That way, if I'm ever out at the farm or whatever, doing some shooting, I have a stable shooting platform. Got it all done, guys. Um, time to get it all sighted in. You know, should be a good project, ready to win this one. Pretty excited, pretty stoked. Dylan's definitely going down in this competition. <laughs> all right. Boom, time. I think I've got this. I think I've got this. I don't even know what the other boys have done. I'm curious to see, but I feel like it doesn't get any better than that. Well, we just completed the Air Max build off challenge. Um, you saw who my competition was. It was no challenge at all, actually. So here we have the crate. It's a compact, perfect for being in the truck and just field hunting in general, right? Um, I kind of wanted to take the night hunting approach with it. So I chose the gun in 25 cal just to have a little bit more knockdown power. Uh, we went with the iRay Alpha thermal scope, which is uh, an unbelievable thermal scope that'll help identify any kind of critters in the field. Um, also, you might notice that we attached this Arca rail on the bottom, and that is to go on the tripod. So when you're stationed out and you have the call going, you can stand perfectly still and you'll have the gun just sitting in the tripod so you don't fatigue while you're waiting for the critters to come in. And also it's nice to just be able to guarantee your shot is stable. I mean, everyone knows how trying to offhand a shot can get a little wonky sometimes. And we want to make sure we do clean ethical kills. So that is why I chose this setup. Just going to do a quick run through on why I chose this gun. Um, love the crate line in general. Um, Biggest reason I decided to go with this one, I didn't love the compact bottle as much, so I decided to go with the midsize, give me a few more shots with the bigger tank. I love that the Air Max bottles come in with a 300 bar bottle, so that gives you a higher fill pressure, enables you to have more shots per fill. I decided to go with the 22, um, pretty good all around gun. It's great for plinking targets, great for hunting. Kind of built this gun as a, as a hunting rig, so it's super short, compact still, but I still have plenty of shots with this bottle. Um, ended up going with an aftermarket Ergo grip, kind of starting from the bottom up. Like the palm swell, a little bit better, bigger, beefier grip for my hands. Being a little bit bigger guy, I like having a bigger grip. Um, second, I would decided to go with this Air Max bottom rail. It's got Arca along the whole first part of the rail, and there's a little part of a uh, piece of Picatinny here that you can actually slide forward and backwards. Pretty sweet overall rail, really like it for hunting, lightweight, compact, great for what I'm gonna do with the gun. Um, Air Max, they come with these baffled barrels, but I decided to top it with an impulse. Um, took one of the baffles out of the impulse. Really like that moderator, especially being able to pull that one baffle out. It's perfect sound reduction for this gun. It's gonna be fairly quiet in general, but that impulse on there is gonna make it extremely quiet. Finished off by topping this gun with a Vortex Strike Eagle 3 to 18 with Eagle Vision rings. It'd be a super great day hunting setup. Really good for plinking around all those farms and barns. Super low base magnification, overall really solid setup. Pretty excited about it, ready to get this rig out. Go do some shooting with it. So, I chose the Catran standard 25 cal tube gun and here is why one super light two it's got a folding stock so it's pretty dang compact however i want to do it three it is super accurate it's got lots of power it's quiet and it looks sick i mean mine is the pick look at it i added a little uh 
walnut on to it just to give it that like you know sophisticated look like like that you have an apartment that reeks of rich mahogany and i added the custom buttstock and then to top it off i've got the uh, pulsar thermion duo which means we got thermal and we have daytime optic what's up now i'm not going to waste any time my gun you can shoot 24 7 baby i'm not limited to light to daylight hours you can do whatever i want that's why i built it like this i hope you guys like this so this has been a fun little project. I hope you guys liked all the setups that we chose. Uh, they're all great setups. Mine's the best. Don't let me decide. You guys, tell us what you think. Comment down below in the comments. Let us know which one you would pick and maybe what you like about it. So the winner out of this contest gets to take their setup out and go shoot it in the field. Go give it a whirl. We'll make a video with that. Who gets to go take their full setup out and put it to use in the field. So... Make your votes, let us know, and we'll see who's, who gets to take this sucker on the field. Here we go.